On your left. I thought it was apropos to start with a moment of silence and the clock ticking in the background for our what was our resident patriarch in this space, David Carroll. Like him or not, he could be a curmudgeon. And he was a curmudgeon. I think he's... <laughs> I think David Carroll is the older version of Sergeant Willie Pete, personally. But <laughs> And David Carroll says some things that I absolutely abhor. I'm not even going to mention them here. And it took me quite a while to get into what David Carroll was saying, because I didn't agree with him very much at first. I guess a lot of people feel that way about me. At first, what people like me and David Carroll say are like nails on a chalkboard. It gets on your nerves. It makes your skin crawl. It messes with you because it goes against the grain of what you want to hear. And he did that for me. You know, he did that for me. But as I grew to, to listen to him, grew to understand him, I understood what he was trying to do. He was trying to say things in a way that would actually wake men up and may wake men up to the reality of the kind of black woman that you had to deal with, what the truth of the matter was. No matter what we, sweet whispers, the black woman tries to whisper in your ear. No matter what sweet whispers the world tries to whisper to in your ear about black women to keep you in place. David Carroll was unabashedly and unforgivingly brutally honest about the state of affairs between black men and black women and black women hated him for it even though he was probably a very accurate in fact you you see now with the death of bell hooks how accurate he actually was because they actually said it in their literature the only thing i disagree with him it was not insanity or, or, or psychopathy it wasn't an illness it was actually them actually following their programming they were programmed to do what they did it's extremely obvious that they were programmed to do what they did. So David Carroll understood the gender war in, in a way that most people didn't. And love him or hate him, he was the patriarch of the space. And until he actually passed away, I never understood what the clicking and the ticking of the clock actually meant. And now I do, because his time is up. His final bell has rung and, and school is out. School is out for us because the teacher has passed away kind of unexpectedly. Now, I don't know why he passed or how he passed, because I think uh, people like him, people like me, for the most part, don't want to be mourned. We just want people to be informed that we're not here anymore. Because that really, I think a lot of, of black men, when you get older, you don't really want people to mourn over you. You don't want people to cry over you. OK, what you did in your life, you did how you spent your life, you spent it and Hopefully your life is full. Sometimes the space or any uh, organization or any grouping of people. And I think we're a grouping of people because I've seen some people here 10, 11, 12 years in this arena. They keep coming back to it and they keep coming back to it for a reason because it is unique and you get to know the personalities and those personalities become part of you. It doesn't matter whether you met them in real life or not. You've heard their most intimate thoughts and you've heard them on a continuous basis to the point, to the point where you almost believe that you know them. 
And like it or not, man, we've lost our patriarch, our patriarch of the space. Because as a patriarch, he didn't care what other people thought about the information he was put up, that he put out. He had a mission. He had a goal. He had standards that he was unwavering about. And that's the patriarch, whether you like it or not, whether you think that he did the right thing or not. So if anybody could be a patriarch, could be a, a father figure in this space, I think David Carroll was for a lot of people. And I don't care who it was. Most people did even that knew about him, listened to him, whether you liked him or not, man, he was highly respected in this space. He, you know, even me, you know, I, I still listened, even though uh, he blocked me <laughs> like maybe the, the second time I actually put up a, a comment. So I understood. And I wasn't mad at him for blocking me either because, uh, you know, I said a few things and I deserve to be blocked. Unlike some people that are in this space, they say a few things and they get blocked and then they get mad. <laughs> but I just want to take some time to actually acknowledge that he's his passing. And that's why you see the video of uh, his beloved Pittsburgh Steelers uh, taking a knee for him. And knowledge that the clock has finally run out and hit double zeros for David Carroll. And all we have left is his work and his memories. So those that are inclined... You know, roll up a Cohiba, fire one up, take a libation, and bow your heads in a moment of silence for well, who we call it, Uncle David Carroll, the patriarch of the space. Anyhow, that's all I really had. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.